Hello everyone, this is Kasha Zhu and you're watching CZZ. Today I want to talk about fear. John Lennon say that there are two biggest motivations in life, which is fear and love. So I've been sensing a lot of fears around me. Um, don't get me wrong, I'm also scared, but um, but the only way to deal with fear is just to confront it, to not let it paralyze your life. Repeat, do not let it paralyze your life. I think when we're fear, um, we tend to um, want to build up walls and we want to arm ourselves up, harden ourselves up to prevent others from hurting us. You can prevent the virus, but without hurting other people. Why did I say that? Because I start noticing a lot of people um, walking on the street, they would dodge eye contact. And, and furthermore, if, if someone get closer to you, a little bit uh, closer than six feet, then, then people start giving me dirty look. And is that really necessary? Like, it doesn't hurt for you to just wave or smile. Like I'm sure even with wearing a mask, you can still see someone smiling and, and being friendly. I don't, I don't think it's necessary to just be hostile to every stranger that comes into your contact, being like, where have you been? What have you touched? Da, 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 da. Don't be so paranoid that you forgot to be a decent human being, please. And the core of this fear really is the fear of death, fear of contracting the virus and then fear of death. So face it, what if you do die? Imagine that. Um, practice writing letter. If you're reading this, I'm probably gone. Start with that. And then I think when you, when you try to write that letter, it will also help you uh, prioritize your life or like what's really the most important things in life? People that you love connection that you made, right? I think in the deathbed, nobody will ever wish that they spend more time working. They always will be wishing that they spend more time with the people that they love. And also on the deathbed or like in the war time when people got shot, I think their last word is usually like, tell my wife, tell my husband, tell my family, tell this person, this person that I love them. Obviously, in daily life, we aren't usually that emotional. We aren't usually um, like that attuned to express our love and appreciation for each other. Um, but this is a great opportunity to start to. Like tell the person that really, tell the people that really matters in your life that like, I love you, you're important, you have helped me so much, I appreciate you so much, you are important. Because who doesn't want to hear that? Obviously, also be sincere. I am come from a culture where people, people do things that express I love you, but people don't necessarily say it or express it. Um, obviously, doing is also very important, but I think Sometimes expressing that and letting that person know is also great, right? Because people need to have some kind of validation from time to time of like, yes, yes, being understood, being loved. It's also very important. And um, if anything, I hope this virus help you figure out who your tribe is. And what's the priorities in your life? What's the legacy you want to leave behind? So if you do die, then then, okay, let it be. <laughs> 
because everything ends whether whether being killed by this virus or, or something else we all gonna die like everything ends and every relationship will end whether by some damage or natural cause of death like the eventual non escaping truth that we all gonna die like so yeah take this opportunity to express love to all of those people that really matters in your life and don't let fear paralyze you just confront it i wish you so much love and peace if you like my video, give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, leave a comment. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe for me and I will see you next time.